Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Stories from Creators. I'm your host, Robert. And today we have this article published by the New York Post today. I saw this at school, and I showed this to my teacher, and he thought it was crazy, too. He's my language arts teacher. We, did, we spent a whole week covering the ChatGPT AI stuff, which was pretty cool. But anyways, it's titled, AI-generated photo of fake Pentagon explosion sparks brief stock sell-off. Which was very interesting. Y'all should have seen it. I'm well, actually going to look at a picture of it. Here in a second, I'm recording my iPad because uh, my computer right now is doing something. But uh, anyways, let's get into this article. A purportedly AI-generated photo of a fake explosion at the Pentagon spread rapidly on social media on Monday, prompting mass confusion among users and a brief sell-off in the U.S. stock market. The fake photo, which showed smoke blowing outside the Pentagon, was shared by Russian state media outlet and other accounts alongside claims that an explosion has occurred at the complex. Um, later, it was a later deleted image. The Arlington Country Fire Department quickly tweeted a message debunking the hoax of the photo. So you have the tweet here. Um, it says, At PFPA official in the ACFD are aware of a social media report circulating online about an explosion near the Pentagon. There is no explosion or incident taking place at or near the Pentagon reservation and there is no immediate danger or hazard to the public so we're going to see the image here in a second u.s stocks appeared to briefly dip as the photos circulated but quickly rebounded after the picture was exposed as a hoax the dow jones and the uh, industrial average was down by about 20 uh, 50 points as as of noon which is the tech heavy nasdaq and the board Broad-based S&P 500 were both trading slightly higher. Some users pointed out that the fake Pentagon photo showed clear signs of AI manipulation, including warped sections of fence. So I think, personally, the smoke itself looks bad. Like, the smoke itself doesn't even look real, to me at least. Uh, I don't know about you guys. But there's something about the smoke that doesn't look real. But anyways, the tweet here says... Comment that this picture claiming to show an explosion near the Pentagon is AI generated. Check out the uh, front frontage of the building and the way the fence melts into the crowd barriers. There's also no other images, videos, or people posting at as first-hand witnesses. So I also think this uh, one thing that happened, which caused the stocks to kind of sell off, was uh, and we have here's a picture here. We're also gonna look at it. Was journalists aren't doing their job of looking into stuff like looking deep detailed at these photos making sure it's not ai generators i guess to some extent it may be kind of hard to tell like you know not everybody will be a photo expert but i don't really think you need to be a photo expert to tell for this image because like i said the smoke kind of looks fake in this and like, like that tweet we just read said there was nobody else uh filming videos reporting it nobody else except for this one ai image that people were stating as fact they can see here twitter were marketed as manipulated media but uh, the tweet, let's just read the tweet here. It says, uh, this morning, an AI-generated image of the explosion, of an explosion at the U.S. Pentagon surfaced with multiple news sources reporting it as real. The S&P 500 fell 30 points in minutes, then resulted in a $500 billion market cap swing on a fake image. It then rebounded once the image was confirmed fake. AI is becoming dangerous. I don't think, I think it's like, AI is but like most things like it, it's good and bad in most ways but of course you're gonna have a, a bunch of cons with the pros to go along with it um uh, I think it's just being abused like most things that are created are um uh, I think we have to be more careful and uh, we have to research more stuff and go into more detail on things now nowadays it's supposed to be that th this, stuff like this this AI generated image stuff and things like that but you can see the stock here of s p 500 just plummeted uh, but then you can see just bounce but right back like minute moments later sorry about that i uh recording cut out anyways let's continue right here the social media scale will add fuel to concerns among critics who say that advanced ai systems will allow bad actors around the world to spread misinformation and sow chaos online Previously, social media users were tricked by viral AI-generated images of Pope Francis wearing a Balenciaga puffer jacket. I remember seeing that. And a former president, Donald Trump, clashing with the NYPD while being arrested. Which, again, those images, it was kind of very easy to tell those, those were fake. Like, come on now. Those images specifically, too. Like, especially the Pope one. 
uh, you can see here this morning an AI generated image. I already read the tweet. Already went, uh, went over that, so I won't get to too much detail on that. Anyways, in March, Elon Musk and more than a thousand experts cited the spread of misinformation as a key motivation and their call for a six month pause on the development of advanced AI until proper safety guidelines were in place. Uh, which I think that really comes down to uh, just like I said, being more careful out there. Do always do your research, no matter what, there's always going to be misinformation out there, no matter where you go. This is why you always want to need to do your own research and always question what you're taught. Like, okay, it's just the end all be all of it. Always question what you're taught, always do your own research and fact check everything. Anyways, the experts cited risk, including the spread of propaganda and untruth, job losses, the development of non human minds that might eventually outnumber, uh, outsmart, obsolete, and replace us, and the risk of loss of control of our civilization. Dr. Jeffrey Hinton. Uh, known as the godfather of AI, grew so concerned by the technology's potential risk that he quit his job at Google last month. Which I remember seeing that article. We covered that uh, in school, language arts, too. We, that was one of the things we covered. So that he could speak out without hurting his former employer. I missed the image again. The generated picture of a smoke. Explosion near the Pentagon. I see some people are passing it. Some people who were tricked are either passing it off as fit as facts but uh yeah like i said just with ai is just like most things it has its pros it has its cons and it just all comes down to being more careful having to do your um uh, your own research especially nowadays with all these advancements in technology uh this article ends. we're not going to read this one but it just says uh ex google is exec mo goddad warns ai will view humans as scum and could create killing machines so Terminator is already happening, guys. Uh, but this wasn't the one I was talking about, though. This isn't... Well, there was another one where it said, author you used ChatGPT and AI bots to write 97 books uh, books and novels in uh, nine months, which I found very interesting. Uh, it really makes me wonder how much of that was the AI and how much input went into the from the actual author. But, uh, yeah, AI is uh, doing, doing its job. I use it a lot personally during uh school but uh i mean yeah that's i'm not gonna get too much into this i don't want to ramble on too long for this video but uh, yeah thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed if you did please press like subscribe uh follow me on rumble and i'll see you guys in the next one take care